What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday, and today we're going to look at Mega Gyarados. I know it took me a long time to finally build a deck, but here it is, and I think this list is actually pretty decent. Uh, there's one card I definitely won in here, and that is a Super Rod. When I was playing games, I was like, man, I really wish I had a Super Rod to get back Pokemon, uh, but I forgot to put it in the deck. So Super Rod will be definitely, be I'll sh maybe show you how to put it in here, but let's go over the deck and let's see what's it about. So our main attacker is going to be this Mega Gyarados EX. It has 240 HP, and he's also weak to lightning. Like, you're thinking, like, Gyarados, weak to, he's a water, weak to grass? No, he is weak to lightning, uh, but it has the attack Blast Geyser. It needs four energies, but I'll show you how we can get those four energies on this guy. 120, you may do 20 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, discard top top two cards of your deck. So there is a downside. You do have to discard two cards, but 120, so 120, 140, 160, 180, 200 damage is how much Blast Geyser can do. And if you have more energies on it, you can do 220, 240. With, what, six energies? You can take a knockout on, a, on the own active Mega Gyarados if you want to. Eh, not so bad. Uh, so Blast Geyser, that's how we're going to take some knockouts. Yeah, yep, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do 200 damage trying to knock out some Pokemon. Alright, now we do play the, you know, of course we have to have the regular Gyarados. I got two full arts, so uh, let's look at the full art one instead. Gyarados EX, oh, also these are shiny. Like, look at look, the red Gyarados, the shiny form of them. Looks amazing. Uh, but Stormy Seas could be a good turn one attack if you get lucky. Uh, flip a coin until you get Talos for each heads. Search your deck for a water energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, maybe use this turn one, get some energies out and play. And then you have Splash Burn as well. 130 and it does 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. But that doesn't really matter. We do have Rough Seas to heal that damage. Alright, we play one Mana EX. And this is really good because it gives all your Pokemon free retreat if there's a water energy attached to it. So it's kind of like Dark Eye with Dark Cloak, but this is Aqua Tube. And there's Metal Pump, 60, he'll 30 damage from each of your bench Pokemon. And eh, not so good. We're attacking with Mega Gyarados this game. That's that's our guy. That's who we want to do. And we also play 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Gold Duck Break line. Uh, Gold Duck Break has the attack Hyper Transfer. As often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may move a basic energy from your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. Alright, so basically we're going to move the energies around. I'm going to put them onto the Gyarados. Maybe retreat to another Gyarados. Move the energies up to that one as well. And that's how we're going to switch between Gyaradoses. And we're going to make make sure our guy is tanky and healing every turn with rough seas. And this, you know, we'll see if this works. It is like a stage... Uh, two basically, and then we have Octillery for Abyssal Hand to draw to have five cards in our hand. So we're playing Octillery, Golden Break, Mega Gyarados. Like so many Pokemon we have to set up, and it needs four energies. But if we can get it to work, we'll be taking down some decks. All right, so we play one Battle Compressor. This is definitely to discard our supporter cards. Like we need to discard the Wally early, the Birch, the Sycamore, Lysander. Uh, four Dive Ball. It gets any Water Pokemon out of your deck. Like any of these Pokemon, which is great, and two Love Ball. Now, you can't cut the two Love Ball for two Ultra Ball, but I think you'll be okay. Early game, you definitely want to use the Love Ball. They can get you the Psyduck, the Octillery, and the Remoraid. So, I think it's worth it. You could play the Ultra Ball, like I said, but I really, like, it's hard because you don't want to discard that many cards from your deck. Uh, so, I don't know. Like, yeah, either one works fine. And we play three Max Elixir. Look at the top six cards of your deck. Attach a basic energy card you find there. Uh, and attach it to, uh, to one of your bench Pokemon. So what we're going to do, Max Elixir, look at the top top six. Put a Water G from your hand from those six onto one of your bench basic Pokemon. And hopefully you'll have like a Manaphy, maybe a Psyduck, Remoraid. It's definitely for early game. So that way you can start attacking with Mega Gyarados by turn two. Maybe. Like if you double Max Elixir attach and then attach... You can get a Mega Gyarados off if we're lucky, and I'll show you how you can do that. Uh, four Trainers Ball, look at the top four cards of your deck, pick a Trainer card. Four VS Seeker, get a Supporter card. One Lysander, one Birch, four Sycamore, these are all pretty standard. And two Wally, search deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, and put it onto that Pokemon. So what we're going to do is turn one, we're going to get down Rim Raid and a Psyduck, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We want to then evolve into Octillery, evolve into Golduck, and then Wally into the break. That's what we're going to try to do to get the turn to Golduck. But then also you need the Mega Gyarados. Oh, man. Probably not going to work, but we'll see if this combo can work. As You know, can it work or not? 
That's the big question. Uh, because we do have the potential to get the turn to Gordic Break, the Octillery, and the Mega Gyarados if everything goes right. We need the Mana EX as well. Oh, man. All right, so we play three Dwarf Seas. Heal 30 damage for each of your Water Pokemon and Lightning Pokemon, which is great. All your Pokemon are Water, so you can heal them all. Three Gyarados Spearlings, so your turn does not end when you evolve. It would play three Splash Energy. If the Water Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put that Pokemon into your hand. Discard all cards attached to it. Um, so this way you can put your Golden, not your Golden, your Mega, your Mega Gyarados back into your hand and put it back down. So it would play eight Water as well. So eleven Energy total, which might seem high, but you got to remember Mega Gyarados has a four Energy uh, attack. So what would I do if I were to play this deck again? I would cut a Mega Gyarados. Um, to add the Super Rod, and now we can get back Crucial Cards. We are to play Splash Energies to get back our Gyarados. So, like, we only really need one Gyarados out in the field at any time, which is great. I also make, a, like, a mistake in the video. I think I do it multiple times. I don't know why I think, I like, I was like, oh, Splash Energy returns everything. Like, the Link and the Water Energies, but it definitely doesn't. And I don't know why I thought it did for a second. I guess because I'm just really tired. Uh, so, I definitely cut a Gyarados for a Super Rod. Um, so that way you, you know, you have the Super Rod, get back your Pokemon if needed. Um, you can also cut the Splash Energies if you want to, to add 11 Water Energy. So that way, you know, you have a better option with Max Elixir. You can use Golden Break. You also can play Max Potion as well. The Max Potion gives you the option to heal all your damage off from your Pokemon. Um, yeah, like, you can move the energies off, max potion heal the damage, and move the energies back with Golden Break, which could be cool, but it's kind of clunky. Uh, but this is what we're going to go with. We're going to see how it goes. We're not playing the Super Rod in the video. We do play the third Gyarados, but still, we get some good games with the deck. Like, Mega Gyarados is so tanky. 240 HP? Yeah, let's see some Pokemon hit that damage, or that, that, much, that much damage. 240? We'll see if it happens or not. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, you're putting against Yangi, playing a Grass, Psychic, Water, Dark, what? Uh, I'm going to say, Evital Bats, Vespa Queen, maybe? Oh, uh, we lost Quinfield, so we'll be going second. Now, luckily, he's not playing Lightning, so that means he can't hit if we can just own our Gyarados. Uh, but they're choosing who goes first, and I imagine they'll go first. Like, you can't imagine anything else. Like, why would you go second? Or maybe they will go second. I don't know. Uh, he is taking a second. There was no advantage, so I'm not sure who's going to win this. Wait. What will y Yangi pick? Come on, buddy. Okay, so our opponent is going to go first. And let's see what our opening hand is. Okay, so we got a Rim Raid, Gyarados, Max Elixir. But no supporter cards. So I'll put down the Rim Raid. If we get Top Deck a Wally, we can Love Ball for another Rim Raid. But then I kind of want a Gold Duck. Ooh. Ooh, man. I don't know. If we get, oh, man. If we get, like, double Max Elixir this turn to the Gyarados, we can start swinging turn two, Blast Geyser, take some knockouts. Man, that'd be, uh, that'd be something. Oh, come on, Yangi. Come on, man, buddy. Pick a Pokemon. Nah, you have, there you go. There you go. All right, we'll put down the Gyarados. And, yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, he gets down three Pokemon. And what is he playing? Uh, Xerneas, Bullpix, Jinx, Fighting Fear Bell to the Xerneas. So it looks like a Rainbow Road deck. There's a Skyfo come down. And a Judge! No! Oh, no. Why'd you do this to us? All right, so we're going to Judge. Get four cards. Okay, let me see a Love Ball. Go to grab a Rimraid. Oh, man. Rimraid comes down. Alright, on to our turn. Let's see, what do we get? An Octillery. Okay, so we're going to Dive Ball. Hmm. Now, he, he's not threatening a knockout next turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the, the, the Psyduck. We're going to get the Psyduck. Put that guy down. We'll put a Water Energy on the Gyarados. We're going to Max Lux to hopefully get one to the Gyarados. Okay, so we got to There we go. Water Energy to the Gyarados. And... We'll pass. The next turn, we have the Octillery. We got the Psyduck. Maybe we can get a Gold Deck and Wally into a break. Ooh, that'd be fancy. But like I said, he's not attacking us this turn, so I'm not really worried about the Rim Raid getting knocked out right now, unless something crazy happens. But yeah, so there's the Xerneas with Rainbow uh, Force. This attack does 30 damage. Uh, this attack does 10, then 30 more damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. There's a Brigetti. Going to get three different Pokemon types down. 
And they also have the Nine Tails as well to lock the stadium to always keep the sky filled. Man, that's kind of scary. How much damage are they going to do? Three, so A, 60, 24, 250? Oh, man, 250. That's not good. That knocks out a Mega Gyarados. Okay, there's a Fairy Energy. Oh, man, that's scary. There's a Rim Raid coming down. We might see a Bissel Hand drawn, too. Oh, he must already Bissel Hand. All right, so on our turn, we get a Splash Energy. We'll put that on the Gyarados. We will put down the Octillery, and we will Bissel Hand draw up to five, and hopefully we get a Rough Seas to bump some Pokemon down. Okay, so we get a Link. Um, we're going to Dive Ball, getting the Golduck out. Uh, so that's, that way, next time we have the break, no matter what. So we'll put another Golduck, and we are going to Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards, and let's see, what do we get? All right, there's a Mega Gyarados, a Psyduck. Oh, the only bad thing is we didn't get a, um, uh, what is it? A Rough Seas. So if he gets a DC Lysander, he can take a knockout next turn. If he gets one more, uh, one more different color Pokemon down. So put down the other Psyduck. We will Battle Compressor, discard some cards out of our hand, or out of our deck, sorry. Uh, we'll discard probably the Wallys, uh, Birch, Wally Wally. Yeah, so we discard, oh, not, not a Rough Seas, a Wally, there we go. So we discard those. We will put a Mega Gyarados down. Well, in our turn, oh man, if he has a Lysander, that Octillery is going to get knocked out. Alright, we'll see. I'll try opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. Now, next turn, we can knock out the Xerneas. So, he has a weird decision. He can put a DC, knock out the Octillery, but then we can retaliate, take a knockout. So, I doubt he really wants to attack with this guy. There's an Eva Soda coming down. Probably getting the Nine Tails, most likely. Alright, so there's the Nine Tails. And let's see what he decides to do. If he has a DC, will he attack... Like, if he attacks this, we can knock out the Xerneas, then knock out the other Xerneas, and make it where he really can't ever, you know, win, like, take a game. So, they were seeing Eva Soda, gonna get out another Octillery. Yeah, another Octillery coming down. And let's see, does he get the Lysander or not? Lysander or DC, he needs both of those. There's a Brigetti, so, nope, no, no anything. Okay, so still nothing. I wonder what they'll get down. Now, if there's no energy attachment, and we somehow get out a Manaphy this turn, we'll be in really good shape. If he does take a knockout this turn. So there's a Professor to go search for uh, a Fairy Energy. Okay, so two Fairy Energies coming through hand. And if I was my opponent, I would definitely put the Fairy Energy right there, but he's going to put on the active. Oh, buddy. And that is a wrong, that's like a big mistake. Like, that is a really big mistake. Uh, but, yep, another energy going to the Xerneas. And a pass on to our turn. All right. There's a Max Elixir. We'll play it. Trying to thin our deck out just a little bit. It looks like we have nothing, so press done. Put a Water Energy to the Mega Gyarados. We'll put down the Gold Dug Break, and we're going to Bissel Hand draw a three. I saw the Manaphy. Can we draw into it or not to knock out the Xerneas this turn? And no! Okay. Let's uh, Trainer's Mill. Okay, so we're going to have a VS Seeker. This is really bad. Oh, man. Because we're going to VS Seeker... We either go for a Birch or a Sycamore. What am I feeling right now? Okay, do we go for a Sycamore, discard two Gyaradoses? Or do we go... I think we'll go for Sycamore. I think, man, Birch, like, can save our Gyaradoses. Ah, man. Okay, okay, okay. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um... Uh... Let's grab the birch. You know, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. So I believe in you, birch. Don't let me down, buddy. I'm not gonna look. Please give me heads. Is it? No, oh, no. It was only four. <laughs> okay. All right. So we gotta think about this. What are we gonna do now? All right. Because mm. we could retreat the artillery, but I don't know how helpful that's gonna be. Oh, man, I can't believe we whiffed the Mana Fade, the Dive Ball. I mean, we have played two Dive Balls already, so not too crazy. So we'll sadly have to end our turn. Yeah, I really don't want to run. I don't really don't want to waste any Water Energies. So pass on my opponent's turn. And we drew it to another Gyarados. Now, we could put down the Rough Seas, but the Night Tails is out of play. There we see a uh, Stand In, okay. What's really going on right now? So Zora comes in. Okay. Really, I'm really inter interested as what's going to happen. What is my opponent about to do? Uh, there's a Lysander, 
Bring it up to go to break, huh? Abyssal hand drawn one. They not have knocked this out this turn. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Oh, he would have been ten damage short. Oh man! All right, so we'll put down a water energy, and we are going to abyssal hand drawing one. Can we get a? Uh, okay, that's not what we needed. So a we'll love ball. Grabbing and knock. Uh, we'll keep the auxiliary in the deck. And yeah, we're gonna sick more. Let's see, can we hit the Manaphy? Alright, good. So we're gonna dive ball. We're gonna get the Manaphy. And yeah, I just realized he can't. Well, if he gets a muscle band next turn, he can knock us out. I'll put down the Manaphy. We will retreat into the Gyarados. We'll put down a Gyarados. Spirit Link, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. Okay, again, not gonna take a knockout. We'll use Hyper Transfer to move this Water Energy onto this Gyarados. Alright, we'll press Done, and we will Blast Geyser for the knockouts. Um, We don't have to discard those energy, so no, we will not. Yeah, you may do 20 more damage for each Water Energy attached to Pokemon if you do discard the top two cards of your deck. We're gonna say no. We are, we're taking a knockout regardless, so we're gonna do 120. Knocking out that Zork. Alright. We'll go down to five price cards. There's a love ball. Not really that helpful. Here comes the Xerneas. And right now he's not taking a knockout. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 21. Yeah, I think 21. If he gets... Oh, if he gets a... Yeah, if he gets another Pokemon down, I think he knocks us out. What? Oh no, he has two Jinx. He has two Jinx. That's what's messing me up right now. So the two Jinx makes it where he can't take a knock on the Mega Gyarados. Okay, so that's what it is. We're good. It just took me a second to realize what's happening. So there's a Lysander. Bring up the Manaphy X, okay. And uh, he's going to take a knockout, going down to four. But we're going to take a knockout on a Xerneas. There's a Fighting Fear about going to the other Xerneas. And Abyssal Hand draw on one. Yeah, I feel confident right now. So, Rainbow Force is going to knock out our Manaphy. Do it 170. All right. So, it doesn't even knock out the Gyarados. So, let's go Mega Gyarados. We'll put that on the active spot. On to our turn. We get a Sycamore. We're going to put a Water G on this guy. We will... Yeah, we're just going to Blast Geyser. Take a knock out the Xerneas. And yes, we will... I mean, I know we have to discard two cards. But it is worth it. We're going to take a knockout. Do it 200 damage. To that poor little Xerneas going down to four. There's a trainer's mount. He can't attack us next turn. Here comes the Octillery. And I think we have enough turns to actually win the game. Okay, the only thing I'm scared of is if you lie center somebody's up, we don't really have a way to retreat because Manaphy is gone. We can like move the energies, take a knockout like that. A spinner comes down. Hmm. Who do we take a knockout? Verse Seeker could grab a Lysander to bring up somebody. Our Manaphy is discarded. Oh, he's going to go for Bridget, okay. So, Brigetti, Spaghetti, going to get down a Zora, alright. So many different options to go for. I think the best option um, is we're just going to Lysander, bring up his only real attacker, put down a Water Energy, and we will Blast Geyser. Let me see my opponent. Conceded the game. He cannot really do anything. And they receive Mega Gyarados taking a win against the Xerneas. Break deck. Oh, man. Like, man, Gyarados has so much HP. Xerneas couldn't even do anything about it. 240 wasn't reaching. I think, he, like I said, Max was 230. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he would have taken a knockout. I was kind of scared. I'm not going to lie to you. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Hopefully, it's another successful game. All right, pretty against Banshee Man. 61 playing an all psychic deck. Oh, man, this might be a Wobbuffet Crobat deck. Uh, we'll call heads, and we lost the coin flip, and let's see what is all Psychic. Is it Mega Mewtwo? Is it, like I said, it might be Wobbuffet Crobat, and that might be really bad because that shuts down all of our abilities. We have no basic Pokemon. Wait for our opponent to choose an active Pokemon, and all right. They're going to see we have Octillery, Sycamore, Trainer Smell, okay. They saw they were playing an all-water deck. They're probably like, what is going on? An all-water deck? That doesn't happen. Hey, so we get a Gyarados. Alright. And uh, let's see what the all-psychic deck is. What is the all-knowing psychic deck? Alright, and there's, oh my goodness, a Wobbuffet. 
All right, so I uh, missed reading to go to the Wob Fit, a love of all. Now, this is actually really bad. Okay. All right, so I don't know what he just love ball for. I didn't see it. Okay, it's Zubat. So, yeah, it is a Wob Fit back deck. A bat, bat deck. A bat's deck. All right, so we see Ultra Ball. Discard those two. We might have to go for Stormy Seas, and uh, hopefully we get kind of lucky. Another Zubat coming down as well. Okay. Zubat coming down. Sycamore going to discard the hand, draw seven new cards. All right. Okay. Hopefully he puts down a Dimension Valley. If he puts down Dimension Valley, we can maybe like put a rough seas out and make it where he can't attack us next turn unless he has another energy. Uh, we could use Splash Burn as well. All right. Ooh, we get a Lysander. Okay, that's actually good. Uh, Maybe for the next turn. We're going to Love Ball. Grabbing a Rimmeraid. I know we can't use it, but we have a life center for next turn. So put down the Rim Raid. We will Dive Ball. Grabbing a... Let's grab a, a, a Psyduck. Yeah, we'll grab the Psyduck. Putting that down. Okay, so we get both these guys down. We will Trainer's Mel. Look at the top four cards of our deck. Looks like we won't get anything with this one. So we'll press Done. Okay, we will Trainer's Mel again. Getting a... Birch. You know what? Let's get a dive ball. Because with the dive ball, we're at least guaranteeing uh, the Octillery next turn. So we'll water energy. And we will Stormy Seas. How many heads can we flip? One. And just, just, uh, uh yeah. Mm, just one. All right. So he says, hey, Squeaky, you doing Rogue Tuesday? Oh, maybe. Okay. So one that comes down. Now, you can't take a knockout on the Gyarados. That's, I'm like 99% sure. Oh, 20 damage to our Psyduck. No, don't do that to our poor Psyduck. He didn't hurt you. Don't do that. Um, But at least we can Lysander, bring up the Zubat, Dive Ball, getting a uh, Octillery out. Okay, so you see Dimension Valley come down. And a Lysander, bring it up our Psyduck. No! Wait, he needs another. Okay, he's not taking a knockout yet. Woo! All right, so into our turn. Top deck the Mega Gyarados. Okay, so we're gonna water energy the Psyduck. We're gonna dive ball. Grabbing the Octillery. Manaphy's in the deck as well, so we can draw into the Manaphy, maybe. Uh, if we get lucky, we'll put down the Octillery. We'll license at the Zubat. And let's see what do we get with the Abyssal Hand. Come on, Abyssal Hand for four. Ah, okay. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Okay, so we're gonna dive ball. We're gonna grab the gold duck. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're gonna grab the gold duck. Okay. We are going to. Uh, we'll go to. Okay. Uh, we'll put down the gold duck. Hey, put down the gold duck. Thank you. All right. We will retreat into the Gyarados. And. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. If he Crobat's Golbats, he can take a knockout on the Goldak break. I'm going to go for another Stormy Seas. I believe in us. One. Oh, okay. Okay. So we get one. If we had one more heads, we would have been able to knock out a Wild Fit next turn. Um, nope. Hold on. All right. So, does he have another Goldak? He did license in the last turn, but, I mean, he probably has another Sporter card. So there's a Crobat coming down. Going to do 30 damage. Oh, to our active. So he's actually not going to go for the Gold Duck break. Okay. So 30 to the active. Man, if we top deck a, a Spear Link, we'll be good to go. A Mystery to the active so he can retreat into the Wobbuffet. And does he have a license or not? There's, oh man, VS Seeker, what is he going after? And there's the Lysander. Okay. So he's going to Lysander. Bring up the Golduck and take it a knockout. Oh, our Golduck break. No. I'm sorry, buddy. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go, go, Gyarados. And let's see. Can we get the water energy? We can splash burn. There's a VS Seeker. That's not what we really needed. We needed a Spear Link, maybe. All right. So let's Sycamore discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Let's see. What do we get? All right. So we get a splash energy. We get a link on the active, just in case he plays Headringer. And we will Splash Burn. Yep. Okay, so we're going to knock out the Wobbuffet. Do it 130. Man, let's see. He can do 30. 
Uh, no, he can only do 20 next turn to the active. So 20, 50, then he get for 60. Okay, so he can't knock us out next turn. There's a Zubat coming up. A Bursting Balloon going down into the Wobbuffet. Uh, Psych Energy, Super Scoop Up, trying to pick the Crobat. Ooh, Tails, all right. And a Brigetti Spaghetti. Going to search for three Zubats, most likely. Oh, three, three unknowns? What? Okay, so Feral Letter to draw a card. I don't know what just happened. Uh, Super Scoop Up. Heads, okay. Going to pick up that Crobat line. Fantastic. Going to put down the Zubat. Put down the Golbat. Do 20 damage to the active, most likely. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Things got interesting. Feral Letter to discard the unknown. Draw another card. Okay. And we really need... We really need that rough seas. Okay, so he's got three cards in his hand. The question is, is one of them a supporter card? Uh, here comes the Wobbuffet, and we will see a, a Psychic Salt doing 60. Brings up to 110 damage. Okay. So on our turn, we get an Octillery. We'll put down the Gyarados. We will put down a Spear Link. Huh. How many VS Seekers have we played? Just the one. Alright, so I think what we have to do, I think this is what we have to do. We'll put down the Manaphy. We're going to VS Seeker for a uh, Sycamore. Discard our hand, draw seven new cards. We need a Rough Seas. I don't know how much this is going to help us, especially if it gets down to the Wobbuffet. But we'll see! Okay, so, ooh, okay. We get down to Water Energy. We get the Rough Seas. We will heal the, the 30 damage from everywhere. Well, Max Elixir, I don't think there's any more Water Energies left in the deck. Yeah, we're going to see what's left in there, though. A Splash Energy, Mega Gyarados is. Okay, so we'll press Done. Um, What Trainer's Mount? I'm looking for a Dive Ball. There we go. All right, so we got the Dive Ball. This is great. We can actually get out the Mega Gyarados. So Dive Ball, getting out the Mega Gyarados. Yep, getting out the Mega Gyarados. We'll put down the Mega Gyarados to the active. And I'm actually going to put down Psyduck as well. If he doesn't get another Wobbuffet out next turn, we might be able to get a Golda Breakout this turn. And we're going to Blast Geyser. It is going to hit us for 60. So 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. And if he gets another Gyarados out, if he gets another Wobbuffet out, we are going to get hit for a lot. Mm, what are... We know he has a Crobat in his hand. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What to do? Alright, we're going to YOLO. Blast Geyser taking the knockouts, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, no, we're not going to discard two cards. We're going to hit for 60. What does he have? He does have three cards in his hand. One is a Crobat. I know that for sure. We'll go down to four. There's a Water Energy. Okay. And here comes the Golbat. On to our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. Will he take a knockout on our Mega Gyarados? There's a Love Ball. Going to search out a Golbats or another unknown. Who knows? It's it's unknown as what he's going to get. But there's a Golbats. Okay. All right. So Golbat coming down. It's been 20 on the active. There's a Crobat doing 30 to the active. Okay. Bring it up to 190. There's a Bursting Balloon. And just a pass. So Skill Dive for 30. Okay. Bring us up to 220. So on our turn. We are going to Rough Seas, of course. We are going to put a Water G on this guy. And we are going to Abyssal Hand, draw in two. And if we can get a Golduck and then VS Seeker for Wally to get the Golduck break. Oh, both our breaks are discarded. Oh, man, I just realized both our breaks are discarded. All right, so never mind that plan. We're going to VS Seeker. We're going to grab a Lysander. Yeah, that's going to be our best play. We're going to Lysander, bring up the, the Golbat. Did I, uh, yeah, we're going to Bissell Hand, draw on three. Man, we have no more Golduck breaks. All right, all right. Hey, there's a Golduck, but we have no break. Oh, man, if we had the breaks in the deck, we would have been okay. Okay, so we're going to... Yeah, we're going to Blast Geyser for the knockouts. Uh, no, nope. We're going to take a knock on the Golbat. There we go, do it 120. We'll go down to three. Yep, and let's see. The Burst Moon will get discarded. He can only hit us for 50 max, which will knock us out. There's a Zubat. 
There's a Super Rock on Shuffle 3 combination of Pokemon and some energy cards. Alright, but I think we might be okay. I think we might be okay. An unknown, Wobbuffet, and another unknown. No, it's like energy, okay. Go into the deck, and there's a skill dive. Do a 30 to the active. Man, if only we had Gordon Break, we'd be so we'd be so good right now. Uh we'll rough cease. We'll put a water G on the active, and we will blast geyser. No, we would not do that. And let's see, if my opponent gets if my opponent gets a uh, a Wobbuffet energy, they can take a knockout this turn, but we get the Mega Gyarados, Mega Gyarados back into our hand. I don't know why I should have hit yes. Why did I not hit yes? That was a misclick. Oh man. But a Geobody's game to draw five. Alright. Oh, no, he's going to take a knockout this turn. Oh my goodness. So Geobody's game take a knockout, but the Mega Gyarados go back into our hand. Uh, shouldn't the energies go back into our hand? Hold on. Okay, discard a card. Sorry, I, was I think about something else. So, but we get the Mega Gyarados. I don't know why for a second. I was like, we get all the energies back. But we're okay. We have the Splash Energy in our hand. And we will Blast Geyser. Man, I should have hit, hit yes last turn. Uh, so we'll press no. Take a knock on the Crobat. Okay. We'll go down to two price cards. I don't think he's going to be able to knock out this Gyarados. Like, it has so much HP. The only thing I'm kind of scared of, if he Lysanders up. If he, like, Wobbuffet Lysanders, we might lose the game. Okay, let's see what he's have. There's a Wobbuffet. There's an Unknown. There's a Feral Letter. Okay, going to discard that. Draw a card. Hmm. There's a Judge. Going to put both of us at four, which is not a Lysander, so that's good. No Lysander right now. Like I said, if you Lysanders, we need to put an energy on, the, on this, this Octillery. So, Feral Letter, going to discard it. Draw a card. All right. And if we put the Splash Energy, this guy, if you Lysanders up, we can then retreat it next turn. So, Mr. Energy, onto our turn. We're going to put down the, uh, the Splash Energy. We're going to Battle Compressor, discard three cards out of our deck. We're going to discard uh, pretty much useless stuff. So, the Max Elixir. Um... The Loveable, and the other Max Elixir, sure, uh, yeah, that seems okay, and we will Abyssal Hand draw in two, and let's see, alright, alright, so yeah, it is bulky, that's right, alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna Blast Geyser, uh, no, we'll keep the cards in our deck, uh, thank you very much, do it 120. And now if you life center somebody up, we can retreat it. We have an energy left in deck. There's a trainer's bell. And he's not taking a knock on this Mega Gyarados. This Mega Gyarados is going to live. And there's a bursting balloon. Okay. There's a Brigetti Spaghetti. Gonna get three Pokemon. Maybe some more unknowns. But yeah, it looks like we're going to win the game against Wobbuffet Crobat. Which seems like may might be like a really, really bad matchup. Because we can't use our abilities. But we have so much HP. It's so hard to knock out. Oh, he's going to go for the Super Scoop up. And heads! Picking up the Wobbuffet to lose the game. But there we go. Taking a win with the Mega Gyarados against the, um... The Wobbuffet Crobat deck. I don't know why I just forgot about it for a second. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing Mega Gyarados. Like I said earlier in the video, I definitely should put Super Rod in this deck. When I built it, I couldn't find space for it. If you find space for Super Rod, definitely put it in there. Oh my goodness, we get a pack of generations. Let's open it up. Alright, let's go open that pack of generations real quick. Let's see, can we pull a Jolteon to make this video even better? Or anything. Uh, We'll pick this one, sure. Oh, the pack always. That's what you always want to go for for packs if you see them. Okay, we're so close to the end as well. Alright, so we have three days left. We'll see if we can get it or not, but let's open up this generation pack and let's see what do we get inside. I know we usually end the video right there, but how can you pass up open a generation pack on here? Alright, so generations. Open. Come on, give us something good. Something really good to end the video with. Alright, so tearing that pack open. Gonna get something good. Hopefully, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, two backwards cards. Oh, Duck Trio, come on. Oh, no, what a letdown. Alright, but there, I mean, we got Jirachi, uh, Duck Trio, and uh, Charmeleon. But hopefully, you enjoy this episode of Rogue Tuesday. Seeing the power of Mega Gyarados, we took down the Xerneas stack. It was just, we had so much HP, he couldn't one shot us. And we took down the Wobbuffet Crobat deck, which might seem really bad because you can't use your abilities, but we still overcame that matchup. But hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty.